Hey, 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 med school made easy. This is going to be a quick mnemonic for remembering the locations of pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors or PNETs throughout the uh, distribution of the pancreas. These are uh, five much talked about, rarely seen uh, type tumors. And you will, uh, depending on the test and things get asked, you know, uh, where these are located. The thing to remember about this, and I'm going to do this in different color, is what we're really trying to do is simulate a pancreas, right? So we have neck, head, uncinate, uh, and then uh, tail or body tail, uh, et cetera, right? And so um, the way to remember this is you really just kind of draw out these picture, this picture, okay? So you have, this already looks like a G. It's already lending itself to that, okay? And then here you have a long body that ends in a tail. There you already have three of them. Um, the other side you can remember just is this an opposite G, okay? And this is kind of the last one is, you remember that the unsent swirls around, so it swirls around, so I also add an S down here. And there you have the five peanuts, okay? Um, gastronoma is classically found in the head. Uh, we have a different video talking about the gastronoma triangle. That's probably the most uh, useful for like step one, level one type situations. And then somatostatin opa is also found head and neck region. Um, insulinoma is usually equally distributed throughout. VIPoma uh, is this sideways V back here is in the tail. And then the uh, backwards G at the end is um, glucagonoma, which is found uh, body tail as well. Um, so if, you know, if you your question, they said they found a, a tumor and it was located in the very tip of the tail of the pancreas, your mind already started thinking, oh, VIPoma, gastrum, or maybe insulinoma. Um, but you have a less uh, likely index of suspicion type deal for somatostatinoma or gastronoma. Thanks.